hinter mir, Data. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I don't doubt it. Against conventional foes, the Wild Hunt's different. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition. General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, Your Majesty. Bring me Siri. I will, if that's what she wants. The rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stopped. Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Finally know where Siri is. I want to take her to Kaer Morhen. Is that so? Nice to hear. But is there any particular reason you're telling me this? Well, the Wild Hunt will know I've found her when I do. They'll attack. Want you to help me repel them. Ah. <laughs> this is awkward. I mean, I'd gladly help, but I have a few more things to tend to in this charming dunghole. Perhaps, if you were to help me first... <laughs> Let me think about it. You know where to find me? Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The Cursed Isle on Lake Windammer, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Vserath, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how, but they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course, provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. 
I can't wait to see what you discover on Phi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm. Thank you. that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. side. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. Yeah. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Geralt, a witcher. Go away! Looking for a young woman, ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No! Running short on patience. Wonderful. Means you're about to go the fuck away. Now my mum's beer, get yourselves to get a wax. You there! Outside the door! Geralt! That right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt! Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle. 
but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. Got nothing to fear from me, said the fox to the gaggling geese. I've lost too many mates already. I won't risk it. I can't. Open the door, or I'll open it myself. You try. These hinges, this lock, will withstand anything. Of course, you can always come back with a platoon of engineers, a battery grammar of a hacker and logsmith. Find the threats. We've only one cut. We'd be better to help each other than argue. All right. What do you want? I want you to find our mates. Ivo, Ferenc, and Gaspar. They ventured off, but they're on the I.O. mission, and probably lost. Help them. Help me. Please, if anyone can find them, I know you can. This Ivo, where do I look? Agent insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Try to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger would budge. Gaspard. Where will I find him? He said it was defeatist. Said to wait to be rescued. We had to take action, or at least he did. Ranger spotted a lantern out to sea, so he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc is there. Uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. Need to see what. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. A man! Am I ever pleased to see you? I talked to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that... Oh, uh, ah! Dead. Damn. Wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. What? What's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning you I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go then.
You're stronger than me. I'm so sorry. Wake up. All right, right. Just a wee bit longer. Get up. Much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. Tried to flee the fiend. One of the Stubby missing legs. Wars. Too slow. Shaney's dead. Wake up. Nah, I, I don't I don't want to go to school. So what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. Here? Mm -hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Friend. Ah, uh, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! <laughs> you seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Ravenick told me to have an eye on the snort. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful sorry. Step aside. She's cold. Spirits left her. Nothing we could do. Let's wait by the boat.
Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> ah, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalma. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalok. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalok? He's not let me down to date. Not once. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eredin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eredin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. How do you wind up here? What happened? Last I remember, I was on the Skellica shore, arguing with Avalok. He wanted to take me somewhere safe. After that, nothing but dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Oof, that was horrible. Had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? Not sure. I don't think so, but there was something familiar about it, and something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead, but at the same time I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance, and the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you. But you were cold as ice, and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morhen. On a horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn! Listen, we gotta think of a way to... 